Hi everyone and welcome to a new training tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the reverse pass. We've done the tomahawk shot and the backhand shot on goal and today we're going to be talking about how to pass to someone using your backhand in normal play. So, how do we use this technique in the game? In a game, whenever you get a free hit around the middle of the pitch, usually people take the ball and then you have it on your forehand and then you try and look for someone who's in your team. However, what you can do to surprise teams is you can take the ball and look one direction and say, for example, that tire over there is where I want to pass the ball because one of my teammates is leading there. I can take the ball, I can lay it to my backhand and everyone's going to think what's going on and then from here you can try and pass the ball over there to that tire. So what's important when hitting the reverse shot? Just like when you hit the tomahawk on the goal, a few things are important. Step one, your hands. You don't have your hands like a normal forehand shot. A normal forehand shot, you have your hands like this and when you hit the reverse, you turn the, the, the stick uh, 90 degrees so that it's flat. You have your right hand and your left hand at the top of the stick. Second of all, where the ball is placed is really important. Usually, when you want to go somewhere, you step out with your right foot and then you want to try and get the ball to be about one stick length away from your foot. That's usually the best position to get good contact because you're not hitting the ball with the edge of the stick, you're not hitting it with this part of the stick, you're hitting it with this part of the stick. So it's important that when you have this distance, you can lean in and that's when you get this distance so you can stretch your arms. That's the best thing. Third of all, which is maybe even the most important thing of all, is that the distance from your foot is important, but also you want it to be exactly in the line where you want to shoot. So for example, if the ball is too far here and you want to shoot, it's not going to go where you want it to go. You need to make sure that, say you want to pass it over there, that you have your stick exactly in the line to where you want to shoot. That's the most important thing. So the transition from when you place the ball in the right spot to where your hands need to be is quite important. So it's quick. So first you have your hands like this. You're taking the free hit. You're putting the ball in front of you. You're bringing your hands here. From here you're stepping out with your right foot. And from here you're passing to where you want to go. So that looks like this. Another way to use the reverse pass is for example when you're outside the D and you want to pass to someone inside the D. So when running on the left side, this can be a nice situation to try and pass the ball into the D and it looks like this. One question that I get a lot is how do I keep the ball low? And it's a really good question because when you're passing with the reverse, the ball has to stay low. It's only allowed to be about this high, otherwise it's dangerous play. And when you're shooting at the goal, it doesn't matter and you don't have to think about shooting high or low because it's both permitted. So how do you make sure that the ball stays low? When you have the ball in front of you, when you hit the ball, what you want to do is if you go too low, the chances of the ball going high is quite large. So what I try to do is when I hit a reverse pass, I try and stay a little bit more upright which means that the angle at which my stick is hitting the ball is not here, but it's about there, meaning I'm gonna hit the ball in the heart of the ball and not at the bottom. If I hit it in the heart, the chances of it leaving flat is much bigger. So the second question that I get a lot is, when do you use your left leg forward and when do you use your right leg forward? And it has to do with the previous question. For me, if I want the ball to stay flat, I usually put my left foot forward. Why? When I put my left foot forward, it helps me to stay a little bit more upright and get me exactly that angle that we just spoke about to make sure the ball stays uh, flat on the ground. So because when you do this one, it's easier to bend all the way down and you can get under it. It's usually when shooting on goal, it gets you a bit more power. 
However, when you're passing in normal play, you don't need too much power. And if you use your left leg, you can stay a little bit more upright and then you know that the ball is going to stay flat. Also, is when you use your left leg forward, usually it's easier when you're on high speed. So when you're running fast, it's easier to just put this one down and then pass instead of going all the way here and then passing like that. So when I'm on high speed, I like to have my left leg forward and when I'm slow, I use the right. One extra tip that I want to give when passing reverse uh, in normal play is that you don't want to hit the ball at 100%. Usually, if you hold back and you try and pass at 85% or 90%, you get more control and you can control the height of the ball. If you give it everything you have, the ball tends to go up faster. So just control and use 85% and that'll help you keep the ball flat on the ground. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Uh, don't forget to post your own hockey stuff. Don't forget to tag me and also use the hashtag HockeyInvites. The FIH really want everyone to join, play and watch hockey. So let's grow this community and make sure you keep on posting your stuff. See you next week.